Hey, water signs. It's me, Combo. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for December 19, 2019. All right. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Yes. All right, Cancer, we have God of Reflection. It says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. Like I always tell people, people can only see and make opinions on you based on the level of maturity or acceptance they have within themselves. So if you're if you're in the space of looking at something negatively within another person, that's something that you already have seen within yourself. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna tell you the truth. People don't like to hear it. But if you're in a relationship with someone and you see them as like a dog, a liar, a cheater, that's because at one point in your life, you may have felt as though you were doggish to someone or you may have lied to someone or you may have cheated in a way that was not in the right vibration. Cheated in a way. You may have cheated. Fuck, I talk about right and right. You cheat, you cheat. There's no right or wrong vibration to fucking cheat. Um, but I feel like if you see those reflections in someone... That's something you've already saw within yourself. When you see good in another person, that's something you've already saw within yourself. You can't like, you know how people be like, um, I can't see how she does this or I can't see how this, 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 because you don't see that within yourself. You can't see something that is already not within you. That's just like you can't extend something out of you that is not already within you. So a lot of you guys, you're simply seeing the reflection of yourself in other people. So if you feel like it's in a negative, it doesn't have to be in a negative. But if you feel like it's in a negative, you need to look at yourself. What messages do Ooh, Scorpio? Okay. I like it. So the first one we have is Angel of Prayer. Some of y'all have prayed for a union. Baby, you got it. Okay. It says, ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. Also with Angel of Union, it says a partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. Mm -hmm. Kissy faces. All right. So let's see what messages we have. Pisces. You have three Pisces, okay? First one we have is diet and nutrition. It says, pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. With the angel of space clearing, it says it's time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. And with goddess of strength, it says, stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by holding your ground. So what I'm getting from this Pisces is a lot of you guys, with space clearing and angel and uh, angel. With space clearing and diet and nutrition, some of y'all need to have the strength to clear away either your diet, what you consume, you know, or either energetically your diet, what you see, what you take in, um, even what you watch. I mean, what you, you, you know, what you say, what you interact in. So I feel like this is a full life purification, not just what you consume. What messages do we have for my water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Thumb on rising Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? For Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Thumb on rising Venus. There's going to be some clarity. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Thumb on rising Venus. This is for December the 19th, 2019. Ooh, y'all got a new cup. What messages do we have? For Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Thumb on rising and Venus. All right. We have the two of. Yeah, all that good shit. We get the two of swords under here. What the fuck? All right, so <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. So some of y'all are at a stalemate. Two of swords here, feeling mental, mentally conflicted. You know how to get rid of the mental conflicts? Go within yourself. Retreat from it. Um, create a positive solution to the mental conflict. And a lot of times that just represents you going within yourself and really identifying what is creating that conflict. So three of pentacles here. Some of y'all are in a stalemate about a partnership. Three of pentacles here. Five of pentacles here. This is a codependent partnership that you've invested some time in. Three plus uh, five is eight pentacles here. With the four of cups here, I feel like there's some unhappiness in the external. Either you or someone in your external is unhappiness. I feel like with the queen of swords, you're needing to see truth. I feel like there's a decision that has to be made around a relationship. Two cups... Four cups, that's six cups. I feel like this is a relationship either dealing with children or someone of the past. You may be in a space of needing to restore peace by retreating from this. Six swords is about moving forward. You got six swords, six cups here with eight pentacles here. So in order to invest in self, you have to release the past and mentally move forward. So let's see what messages we have. Three of pentacles here. Uh-oh. I need that card. My sorry, my, my, my apologies. I'm sorry. I was going to say my sorry. I don't know where the fuck that came from. All right. So we have three of pentacles here. Why is the three of pentacles here? 
So we have the strength here and the high priestess. Some of you guys know that you need to find your inner strength in dealing with this situation to put things in motion moving forward in order for you to gain mental. <sighs> Some of y'all are in a partnership here. I feel like you've made a decision to kind of stay in a partnership, trying to keep the strength to cooperate here. But five of pentacles here is a lack. Why is this five of pentacles here? Three of pentacles. Again, this partnership that you're dealing with is a lack. I feel like um, with the three of wands here, you're needing to establish your strength. Seven of wands here. Three plus seven is ten of wands. So some of you guys need to lay the burdens down of this codependent situation or this lack situation. Ace of pentacles and really invest in balancing out your foundation so that you can move forward. Four of cups in the surrounding energy. Why is this four of cups in the surrounding energy? Why is this four of cups in the surrounding energy? Why is this four of cups in the surrounding energy? All right, so we have the two of cups here. Four plus two again is six cups. So I feel like for some of you guys, this is a relationship of the past that was unhappy. Four cups here, four swords here. I saw this in the air sign read. I mean the uh, fire sign reading. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, they could be in a space of retreating from a situation because it makes them unhappy. Maybe there was some discontentment in the past. But four of swords under here, there is a retreat. There's a retreat from the past. Ten swords here. Someone's in, in the space of embracing the end of an unhappy relationship and taking a leap of faith. And I feel like that's making you unhappy. So I feel like with the Queen of Swords, some of y'all ready to chop the motherfucking head off. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. It looked like you ready to slice, dice a motherfucker. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? It looked like you is not with the shits right now. Some of you guys, I feel as though you know that you need to find the strength to move away from this partnership, but you're worried here about moving towards something new. So you're almost in, a re in the space of resisting, cooperating with the universe. With the Four of Cups here, you're kind of keeping yourself stuck off emotionally because of a past relationship that has already ended. Um, someone in your external is in the space of being unhappy with this relationship, also being unhappy in the past. Ten of Swords here, really ready to embrace Really ready to embrace the end of the unhappiness full card right after that, ready to take a leap of faith. Someone's jumping off into oblivion here. So with the Queen of Swords and the subconscious, I feel like you're needing to see truth and clarity. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Five Swords here. I feel like you are in a space of maybe needing to question your own motives or you're maybe questioning someone else's motives. Five of Swords, Five of Cups here. There's a lot of regret. So some of y'all are in a space of feeling conflicted, feeling defeated. You feel like you've lost, but you haven't lost anything but an unhappy relationship. What did you lose? You lost being stuck and unhappy. You lost being in a space of being resistant because you're in a, a lax situation. You've gained balance. You've gained freedom. You've gained a whole new world. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to be in a space of restoring peace by seeing clearly. Especially with the Queen of Swords, she's about seeing clearly. She's about cutting away the things. She's about cutting away things that no longer serve her. So I feel like in order to invest into yourself, in order to put things in motion, you need to be in a space of being discerning of what's within the best vibration for you and what is not. For a lot of you guys, you're so much in this space of feeling conflicted are feeling defeated, dealing with regret, that you're not understanding that the way to end the regret or end the conflict is to retreat from it and move forward. The only way to end, that's the only way to end the conflict. If you continue to invest in the conflict, that's what you get. So you have to end the conflict so you can move forward. All right, so with this, it, you definitely got to move forward. Moon card here, I feel like you have some fear. Um, there could also be a hidden third party here, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really needing to be discerning of whether or not this partnership is worth holding on to. So with the Two of Cups here, we got the Four of Wands in reverse. So I feel like this is a relationship that did not have balanced passions in it. Six Cups here, maybe children involved within the situation. I feel like Seven of Pentacles, you invested into this situation. And I feel like you're waiting for some things to come into fruition. But with the Cherry here, this is about finding the motivation to really make a successful decision here. Six of Pentacles to balance the situation out by taking action again. It, it don't matter how many fucking cards I pull. It's the same message. 
in this reading in order to alleviate the conflict that you feel, alleviate the feelings of defeat that you have, you have to cooperate with the universe and really take a leap of faith and move forward. You're unhappy with this relationship. You've been unhappy with this relationship in the past, whether this is a job relationship, a love relationship, a friendship, a partnership, whatever the fuck it is, you have been unhappy in the past and you know you need to find the strength to really move toward happiness or find the strength to be fucking happy. Period. Some of you guys are allowing yourself to wallow in disappointment and, 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 and have this, and I'm sorry to say it, but I'm going to speak my truth. Some of y'all have this victim mentality where you choose to be in the space of, of having these feelings, of feeling as though, oh, I'm so confused, I don't know what to do, this person did this, 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 this. But you know why people continue to do things to you? Because you allow them to. The best way to get out of a situation where you feel like someone is not doing what they're supposed to be doing with you or not in the right vibration with you is to cut yourself away from the situation. You're responsible for your own happiness. So a lot of you guys right now need to really get out of this woe is me type of energy and find your strength to create that happiness by moving away from an unhappy situation. Period. So let's see here. And I'm listen, I, I, I know my, uh, me and my water signs, we've always had a, a ticky relationship mind you i got a water sign and i got two and they know how i am i'm not with the i'm not with the riffraff like you're responsible for yourself you feel me and i know sometimes y'all feel like i'll be hard on y'all but i'm not i'm just an earth sign that is very grounded within my my thoughts i have a lot of fire and a lot of air in me but i don't have a lot of uh of water so maybe i don't connect with y'all the way that i should as far as i'm on a, from an emotional point of view but i am speaking real facts here this is a partnership in the past that you are unhappy with. You feel me? In order to gain your happiness, you have to get rid of what makes you unhappy. Not be in a space of looking for sympathy because you've dealt with it. Everyone has dealt with unhappiness. I've dealt with unhappiness. And you know what? For a while, I didn't understand. I'm like, why is this man making me unhappy? Why is this situation, this job making me unhappy? Why am I unhappy with my life? And then I had to come to the conclusion, it's my fucking life. Nobody helping me. Nobody doing nothing for me. Nobody is making me happy. I have to choose to bring that energy into my life for myself. I have to choose to be happy. I have to choose to remove myself from a situation that makes me unhappy. I have to choose to quit a job that is making me dread waking up every morning. I have to choose to leave friendships that are not reciprocal within the energy that I need in my life. That's a choice. And if I did not choose, I'd still be in those situations and unhappy. So in order for you to gain this happiness and emotional balance that you are desiring, you need to stop blocking it and allow it to happen. Release the past, stop romanticizing about what was, and create a new future for yourself. So let's see what guidance we have. And I'm sorry if that sounded hard, y'all. I'm not trying to be hard. I swear I'm not trying to be hard on y'all. I don't know how to talk um, any other way than the way that I am. But I do. This is, and I, I guess I'm like this because I've been reading for on YouTube for two years. Like, it's legit two years now, about to be three. As long as I've been reading, my water signs have had this, this, this issue of not taking responsibility for their own happiness. Of, of, and I understand there's a lot of water there. I understand that the emotions get involved. But that's where you have to be logical and detached from those emotions you have to come. When you get into your feelings... Take on a different type of energy. Instead of wallowing in the water and allowing that water to kind of make you go crazy, go into a, a, a logical perspective. Why am I allowing myself to be taken on by my emotions? Go into a grounded perspective. I can create the stability for myself by not allowing myself to get swept away by these emotions. Take a passionate um, perspective. I can choose to create happiness for myself. Like you have to it's okay to have emotions. I have emotions. Don't get it twisted. Even though I don't have a lot of water in my chart, I do have water in my chart. I have like two, I have like two placements of water, but I am very balanced. I am very balanced. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? I know when to use my emotions and I know when to retract my emotions. Um, and you have to be able to balance all those elements within yourself in order to be whole. What is happening here with my water signs and what's happening a lot, you're allowing those emotions because of what they feel to overtake your logic, to overtake your decision-making skills. When you have the capability, and I always say this to y'all, y'all have the capability of changing this. You have to just be in the right vibration of choosing what's best for yourself and not allowing things to happen to you. They're not, you're not in life to allow shit. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? 
you allow what you've taken action on. So once you take action on something, then you sit back and you allow. But you have to take that action first. It's like the magician comes from before the high priestess because the action is necessary in order to gain knowledge. You're not going to know what makes you happy if you don't move away from a situation that makes you unhappy. So let's see what messages we have from our water signs moving forward. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What guidance do we have for Cancer? All right. So we have death and magic. This is about things ending and magic happening in your life. So you do have to be in a space, yeah, to co-create what it is that you desire. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, we have alliance. So I feel like a lot of you guys are in alliance with being nurturing, um, either to yourself or to others. What messages do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. What messages do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance? All right, we have potential. So Pisces, I feel like you're in a space of seeing the potential here. Um, you're seeing truth. The truth is making you see potential of really mastering with the nine here, a cycle or yourself. For all of my water signs, the underlying energy is sun. The sun is all about clarity. It's about happiness. It's about warmth. So for a lot of you guys, you're needing to really Take those energies, clarity, happiness, and warmth within yourself. And like I say, shine light into this new path. Co-create with the universe what it is you desire by, co by cooperating with them and really making it, you know, how do I say this? By cooperating with them and releasing yourself from cycles that have already ended. These cycles have ended. This is just a, a, a fear of moving forward here. This is all I have. Peace.